Doji Candlesticks Reversals, a secret trading weapon. In this video, we'll demonstrate an effective way to show how you can use the doji pattern in the stock market. If you don't know what a doji is, don't worry. We'll show you what it is and how you can spot it in the chart. After explaining what a doji is, we'll backtest it and tell you exactly how it performs. Does the doji pattern increase the returns compared to any random period? We find out by backtesting. This means making specific trading rules and not using random anecdotal evidence. We will also improve the doji strategy by making improved exit rules. Before we start, we'd like to mention that we have back-tested and coded all candlestick patterns that exist. You can purchase our research for a moderate fee on our website, including the back-tester code for AMI Broker or TradeStation. The fact is that the 10 best candlesticks perform very well. They beat, buy, and hold handily despite being invested just 35% of the time. Let's return to our dojis. Doji trading strategies are popular and the doji pattern is one of the most famous candlestick patterns. There are four types of dojis. Neutral doji gravestone. Doji dragonfly. Doji long-legged doji. The four arrows in the chart show each different type of doji. What does a doji signal? Dojis have small bodies with upper and lower shadows that are of greater length than the candlestick body's length. This presumably represents indecision between the bulls and the bears. However, we won't bore you with explaining dojis. That is already done hundreds of times. Instead, we'll backtest to find out if they work or not. We use the trading code we made, which you can find on our website, and we made the following trading rules. Market. S&P 500. Spy. When we spot one of the four dojis in the chart we buy, we sell n days later. The back test returned the following results. The first column shows the number of days we are in the trade. For example, row number five shows the results when we sell after five trading days, which is a 0.028% gain per trade. The results are slightly better than any random period. Can we improve it? Let's try to add a sell criteria where we sell on strength to exploit the mean reversion effect in the market. We sell when the close is higher than yesterday's high. Does it improve? The equity curve doesn't show a linear upward slope, but the average of 0.32% per trade over a four-day holding period is still better than any random period. Let's try another twist and we make the following trading rules. Market S&P 500. SPY. When we spot one of the four dojis in the chart we buy, the five-day RSI must be below 50. We sell when the close is higher than yesterday's high. The idea behind the RSI filter is to buy when the market is somewhat oversold. There are few trades, only 62, but the average gain per trade improves to 0.54%. However, the equity curve is not particularly inspiring. That's all for now. But if you'd like to know more about candlesticks and performance, we have plenty more on our website. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to help us deliver more free videos. Good luck trading.